so greetings of the day um i hope uh, you might have enjoyed uh, the previous videos uh please post your you know uh, honest feedback on uh, my presentation so that i can improve and uh, present it in uh, a uh, good manner so please do help me in that also so please render your support in that uh, line okay so today we are going to see which very good important thing is that some information on 3 gpp spec so it is very much required if you are looking for you know uh, if you are looking to get into you know any 5g related industry like you know uh, both development you know um, design engineer or uh, <coughs> development engineer or test engineer or you know uh, manufacturing engineer or you know whatever you want so for example from the device to the node b so whatever you want to you know whatever role you are uh, getting in so you must know some some you know if you are if you are interested to getting in these lines so you must go through this 3gpp or you know etsi spec and the some of the regulatory bodies i think i covered in uh, previous uh, my previous uh, lectures that so you must have some idea on that you know some idea on you know how things are working and you know have, all the information will be available openly but some regulated information you will not find the open open source but uh, so most of the you know information required information will be available at uh, 3gpp spec itself okay so it, this is the common spec as i have mentioned in the previous lectures so this 3gpp is not you know a separate organization so it's a consortium of uh, um you know uh, the members members from uh, different various industries like you know ue manufacturer once again so ue manufacturer and uh, uh, and uh, node b manufacturers and they are called as original equipment manufacturers okay uh, node b manufacturers stack manufacturer right or manufacturer so so every every member you know from every industry there will be a some member will be representing 3gpp okay for you know for example test solution vendors and uh, you know fiber optics so several uh, people will be there in this spec and you know uh, concert the, as as the member in the 3gpp okay so they uh, keep on proposing new things and they keep on refining new things already present there so like you know and they you could have seen in the 3gpp spec that rand meeting they used to call it as rand meeting so in that rand meeting they what they will do is so each company uh, you know architect level people they will come and propose no 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 you should uh, change like this like this and they propose new test cases also so you know whatever device you know uh, device has to comply with this condition also so like that they used to propose uh, test cases also okay so that that information you will get in uh, all in uh, 3gpp uh, website so that we will you know one day we will walk through the uh, i will you know walk through the 3gpp spec what and all is required to you okay so then uh, in another video okay so please do watch that okay so now we will see some of the information so outline of 3gpp so what is 3gpp spec specifications what is this so what is this is that see <clears throat> for example your device has a stack right so layer 1 to layer 7 okay so layer 1 to layer 7 so each layer what is being done okay and that that and those information will be there and how it has to you know attach with the you know like you know communicate with the node b how node b stacks are available how back end core networks are available uh, there how these interfaces are interlinked so what are all uh, different uh, procedure to be uh, will happen while making call or while uh, downloading any data or you know uh, making video call so for any for any service for that matter so what are all process procedure will had to happen during that uh, uh, event okay so those information will be available at you know uh, 3gpp specs okay 3gpp specifications okay so i guess you know based on that only they are you know each uh, equipment vendors or you no know, ue vendors or test solution vendors they, they are developing their uh, you know equipments it's a common platform because okay? so that's why so all the equipment will inter interoperable okay otherwise what happens is each one will have their own standards then uh, their own 
their own procedure then you know you will not have you will end up in using only one equipment for whole network so that's why they want to encourage the interoperability they are going there so and also open run concepts also coming up because you know any device for that matter you can can attach anywhere you want wherever you want okay so without having any problem because you know they are providing in you know, a common platform that so your equipment should comply with this then we can insert your chip anywhere you want okay in chip or device or you know any small modules you can insert anywhere in the network okay so you can test also okay that's what open run concepts are coming up so what it may test is that as i mentioned so so for example uh, some spec number will be there with the 88827 it will say radiated matrix and test methodologies okay and several uh, 38330 uh, overall description of some particular 5g related thing and you can see that 389902 tadi on new radio access technology okay and 38201 you can see see physical channels and modulation schemes so what how the modulation scheme will be and how the channel behavior will be and those kind of information so not only this see when you read this spec you know it will refer to multiple specs okay so therefore you will come to know entire thing so if you are a college student please go through these specs and then you know develop your algorithm you know develop your understanding and then code it in using your matlab or python or anything okay and then if you demonstrate that will be you know uh, industry oriented project okay because you know you uh, many people say we want industrial oriented project industry oriented you can just read this spec and then develop your own algorithm and everything if you improve something then it will be a, you know it will be appreciated in the in the industry level you can apply for crs also so so that's why you know it is very important that you will be aligned with the industry so that's what uh, so instead of doing some paper or reading some paper and doing a project if you read this and then if you you know uh, assimilate this and then if you propose some you know uh, if you you know develop you know, like uh, you know if you develop a code then it will be a very huge uh, you know it will be appreciable and um, you will uh, almost align with the industry so you will get a easily job you will easily get a job okay see you can see see that 212 multiplexing channel coding so how multiplexing happening channel codings are happening what are all different uh, coding uh, methods are used so those kind of information will be there and physical air procedure for control data so you can see here so this is how you know all the information will be available in our in a media a mac how it is there, what is there so how it is when done radio link layer uh, control so all these are protocols okay and you can see the nas and the security architecture so you can see here test, test and um, at last you can see that 36508 it will show you test setup diagrams and then also some other procedure will be there so most of the you know, other specs will refer to 36508 for this informations so for example say uh, some uh, brief introduction of what, you know specs on 5 i am you know just showing few of the spec so what is in the inside in that uh, inside that spec so 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 similarly you will get a lot of plenty of specs okay when you start reading one spec now you will come to you know you will get, get a chain of specs because you do inside it will it will refer to multiple spec it is not you know one spec you can al- uh, read alone okay and then you can develop something no Uh, so it will refer multiple things because you know all are internet related right for example physical layer you are reading the spec on physical physical layer it has to get in touch with the mac layer and you know it has to get in touch with the rf front end uh, things and it has to get in touch with the front end test setups and then uh, how not be uh, front end and then uh, ue front end UE. so so the so many things are there right so uh, for example if you are uh, checking at node be physical layer then um, it is has to no uh, get get it communicate get, get, get signal get communicate with the ue as well right so those information will get in other spec so that's how you are you know bringing in all the concepts together okay so so you cannot read spec alone so please don't have this in mind so that you have to read you know spec i you know uh, the spec and then you have to read whatever the you know references given there so the otherwise you will not get a overall picture so that is what is my comment So, for example, that is a nine O N study on channel model for frequencies from five point five to hundred gigahertz. You can see here this will describe channel model, plenty of channel models. Those who are interested in working in you know channel model algorithms and other things, please go through spec. You will get a plenty of channel models. Okay, Raleigh really fading and some other several channel models are very region fading. I think New York University is fading like they have proposed a channel model. So multiple things are available. 
that is eight one is, oh uh, it is is mentioning about test methods like you know different test methods like you know what a contacted mode or different mode what a mode oh, sorry especially what a what a mode what all different methods are the cater um, direct for fill indirect for fill so how it should set up should be how ue has to be positioned how ue has to be you know um, like you know during the test uh, placed during the test how ue has to be rotated or to be rotated how the beam uh, you know my mo has to be tested and the what how beam beam tested so my plenty of information will be available in this okay 3827 study on radiator metrics test methodology for the verification of multiple lavatory antenna uh, reception performance of nr equipment Okay, this will define the metric uh, to be used. Validation methods to provide compliance, uh, compliance to three thirty eight one zero. So, which means radiator metrics and test methodology for the verification of multi antenna reception. So, here it is specific to the uh, multi antenna reception. So, which means MIMO. Okay, so uh, it will it will it will be compliant with the thirty eight eight one zero because you know. Uh, based on test methods, you will measure radiator matrix that has to be compliant. You know, um, like uh, uh, so, verification is uh, how you are going to verification uh, verify the MIMO and other things. Will you know uh, based on the uh, test set of what you have in the uh, thirty eight one O. Okay, so some common information we used to capture from the spec is that see, for example, I am talking in RF perspective, which is power. Sir, first we it should be frequency. And uh, it's the RF scene. Sorry, the, the R is shuffled. So frequency band, power. What should be the power bandwidth? Number of RBs, RB start. So and the modulation schemes, stress procedure. How it has to be done? So initial from the attached to you know till you till you capture the data, power level or you know modulation schemes or anything. Okay. Test setups, subcarrier spacing, so additional configuration information to be fed for a UE config file. You know, like you know, in the so for example, if you want to configure the UE, what should be the configuration? So what I will happen is in test procedure, you will see five lines only, five uh, you know, five small small paragraphs. Okay, there it will refer to multiple specs. Okay, from there you have to capture other information like you know test procedure. What will say you have to refer this diagram and so on so on, sir. Okay. Then you have to go to that spec and then uh, take the annexer, uh, annexer, go to the annexer and then uh, capture the uh, test setup. Okay. Then uh, what you have to see configuration information will be available to some spec. So you have to read there and then you know uh, assimilate that and then implement this. So similarly for power also. So it will not show you entire things here. Okay. So for each configuration, what should be the power? What should be the bandwidth? What? So everything information will be available. You have to refer to multiple specs. Okay. So this is how it will be modulation schemes also. So it will be a it, um, modulation control scheme. So it is uh, MCS value. How it is calculated? Those information will be available. But uh, I think thirty eight to two one four, thirty eight to one four, thirty six to one four. Okay. So so these are all the information we uh, we can capture. If you are uh, talking about a protocol, then it will be a different thing. Okay. You have to capture multi multi other information. Okay. So thank you for watching. Please do subscribe my channel because for the future videos, so I am planning to put around more than 20-30 videos in one month time frame on these areas. Okay. So thank you. If you have any comment, so please, please do post comment. You know, if you are not understood anything, please post frankly so that I know I can improve myself in next presentation. Thank you. Thank you all for your support. Thank you.